adherence to due process and the rule of law. Well, as we anticipate the meeting of the regulatory body in the judiciary, especially that of the bench, that is the NJC, let's take a look at what the president said in a statement released by the presidency, a portion of it uh, states, and I quote now, the recent surgical operation against some judicial officers is specifically targeted at corruption and not at the judiciary as an institution. In a robust democracy such as ours, there is bound to be a plurality of opinions on any given issue, but there is a convergence of views that a country has a corruption problem that needs to be corrected, end of quote. Well, let's get perspectives to these. Martin, now I have joining me here in the studio, uh, a, a political analyst and, of course, a member of the PDP, Mr. Ken Okulibo. Many thanks for coming on the program. Thank you. It's always yes. my pleasure. And, of course, we're expecting uh, a member of the Buari Support Group to join us from our Buja studio, Loretta Onoche. But let's uh, begin the conversation now. Uh, as it stands now, some people have uh, come up with uh, criticism. Uh, yesterday, they were looking at the role of the DSS in the face of the law. But some people say some of these cases are just clear, uh, called, I mean, clear case of uh, witch hunt, and some of uh, the judges who have participated in cases that did not go down well with them. Do you see it as such? Well, it depends on the perspective you are, you're going to look at it from, Shimu. Uh, you know, when the Nigerian Security Organization, when the act was repealed in 1986, uh, Babangida, in his wisdom, uh, created three departments, which is the Director, Directorate of Intelligence, Defense Intelligence Agency, the National Intelligence Agency, and the State Security Service, which became the Department of State Security Service. Um, specifically, if you look at what the function of the State Security Service is supposed to be, it has to do with the internal security policing, let me use that word, of the country. That's prevention of internal security, which are crimes that border on treason, crimes that border on the issue of the stability of the state, and also to provide security for very important citizens like the presidents, the vice presidents, the governors, and so to say. Uh, what bothers my mind here is that, it, let's, not, let's try and remove politics a bit away from this. Uh, it, there is corruption in the judiciary, and we all know that there is corruption in the judiciary. And it will interest you that one of the petitions that they are investigating it was one written by my party, the PDP. Uh, well, so to say, maybe you call it a faction of the party, but it was written by uh, Amodou Sharif against Lehman. And that is one of the uh, uh, petitions that is being investigated. And so I don't think it is, if you encapsulate it, it is all about... Uh, uh, judgments that did not favor the government. But what bothers me here is that going to arrest judges in the night, in the middle of the night, I think it, it's condemnable. You could invite them, and when they don't come before you take such actions, yes, they were armed with, uh, with search warrants and they were armed with arrest warrants, but there is no evidence to show that they were invited in the first place. If there was evidence to show that they were invited in the first place and they did not honor such invitations, then you could have carried out the sting operation. One school of thought would say if they did not carry out the sting operation, they would not have been able to catch them on our webs and recover, so to say, the money, the monies that they have declared that they have recovered from these judges. That is one school of thought. Another school of thought will also look at it that you can't use a wrong to fight a wrong. Because we have a constitution. And the constitution but, but, clearly But what the, what would be the wrong in this sense? What would be the wrong in this sense? The wrong in this sense is that it is not the duty of the DSS to investigate fraudulent and corrupt practices. But in the crimi in the, the administration of criminal justice, justice act, act, yes. Look, the specifics that they can actually the DSS no, in the and security agency of, no, in, no, the in, in the constitution case, actually yes. that they can they in can the they, yes. they can go on any crime. Yes. So when you no, say you're crime, you're section three of the of the act. of the act of, of it says that the president can deploy them as as he, it deems as fit. He, as it deems fit, or the national assembly as it deems fit. What I'm saying here is that yes, the rot in the judiciary is one that has been very very. But what rampant. I'm asking is that but they what, have what would no be the wrong? They have no show. Is that it the time it of the actually, night that you think is yes. wrong? Yes. The time of the night. What's wrong about the time of no, the night? I'm, I'm, Does the I'm, law specifically say you cannot it's operate? It's the time of the night. I'm very much. Against. Why, why are you? Why are when you concerned you about the time of the night? One a.m. in the morning for it, somebody you have not invited before. 
for somebody that is not resisting arrest, it, it's does it, it, does it, the law say specifically that they should be invited first? Yes. If they call it a sting operation. No, that's why I said. And if you look at thought, what a sting operation, a school of thought to say if you don't go, you will not be able to recover evidence because they wanted to recover evidence. Mm. It's obvious a sting operation is for you to catch somebody. But we need way. to educate the public because yes. now but when now, you say there's something wrong with the time of the night, why I say the time of the in, in what part of the constitution could, or the law? Maybe they could go as early as five in the morning. I might not have had a problem with it. Five thirty six. But these guys, you know, you know security agencies no, five sometimes are in the morning. armed with some information no, that I'm you and saying, I are not. What I'm saying here is, if you go five thirty six a.m. in the morning, whatever that would have happened between one a.m. and six a.m., the person is, is still not unaware. Is, is still not aware that you are coming. So you, you have know, a problem with the time. Have, yes, I have a problem with the time. But the law does not. Well, the law does not stop. But you are talking about morality. I'm talking about morality. But then, in, in law, and there is no know, morality. And you know what? What I'm saying here is that the police has not have not asked for their help. If the police or the EFCC asks for the help of the DSS, the police is not helpless. But the the police could also have, but, okay. have, have done... Because uh, the police is, is the arm of government we, we, or the EFCC Mr. Kuli, that is saddled with... We need, with, to, take uh, a, we need with, to take a moment. And yeah. when we return, more on the Buhari government's anti-graft war. What do you make of it? Join us again. The Department of State Services in the past few days has embarked on a series of special sting operations involving some judges of the Supreme Appeal and High Courts. These operations were based on allegations of corruption and other acts of professional misconduct by a few of the suspected judges. The service action is in line with its core mandate as we have been monitoring the expensive and luxurious lifestyle of some of the judges as well as complaints from the concerned public over judgment obtained fraudulently and on the basis of amounts of money paid. The judges involved were invited, upon which due diligence was exhibited and their premises searched. The searches have uncovered huge raw cash of various denominations, local and foreign currencies with real estate worth several millions of naira and documents are farming and holy acts by these judges. Meanwhile, some of them have made useful statements while a few have declined even with the glaring evidences that were found against them in terms of material cash, documents, and property recovered pointing to their compromise. Summaries of these include Naira, 93,588,000 dollars, 530,087 Naira, I mean dollars. Yes, 530 and 87 dollars. Pounds, 25,970 pounds. 